the strength of an acid refers to the extent that it dissociates into ions when dissolved in water. Strong acids dissociate nearly completely. Weak acids dissociate very slightly. Dissociation into ions means that when an acid, HA, dissolves in water, it transfers a proton to one of the water's lone electron pairs, and the acid anion, A-, and a hydronium ion, H3O+, plus, form. The color change of the water oxygen will make it easier to follow in solution later. The key difference between strong and weak acid dissociation is the final concentration of hydronium ion in solution. Since proton transfer from a strong acid to water is nearly complete, the hydronium ion concentration is essentially the same as the original acid concentration. In contrast, proton transfer from a weak acid to water becomes balanced by proton transfer from hydronium ion to A-. So the final hydronium ion concentration is much less than the original acid concentration. Let's view acid dissociation at the molecular level and focus first on strong acids. The concentrated acid in the beaker consists primarily of acid molecules. As soon as they make contact with the water in the flask, proton transfer from HA to H2O occurs for virtually every acid molecule. Note the change from blue to red. Therefore, a strong acid solution consists of hydronium and A- ions in water and virtually no HA. It follows that the acid dissociation constant Ka for a strong acid is very large. Now the beaker contains a weak acid. As before, the moment the acid molecules make contact with the water, proton transfer from HA to H2O occurs. But in a very short time, proton transfer from hydronium ion to A- balances it and equilibrium is reached. Thus, a weak acid solution has a relatively high concentration of HA and very low concentrations of H3O plus and A-. Therefore, the acid dissociation constant is very small.